Welcome back, everybody, to a new episode of Invite Only. I am your host, That Kid Flowers. Uh, to the left of me, I got my man's, my left hand, Compa Andres. Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't know go. if he was going to do it. I, I didn't know, know he was, he was know. off camera. He's like, I don't know if I should do it. No got surprise. a lot of things going on here. Yeah, and, you know, today's a little different. Everybody's busy. So today we got, you know, Mikey in the driver's seat over there producing for uh, me. Of course. You know what I mean? Best uh, best produced show we've had. I got you with a Mikey cam. I'll put the camera up there for you. If you want to, you know. Uh, uh, it's just not possible at this time. I just want to <laughs> make sure we deliver the best possible that. show. Uh, that we could uh, do, you know. Everybody's trying to, you know, relax. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Uh, how you guys been? What you guys been up to? I know it's been real busy. Black Friday, Thanksgiving just passed. Yes, sir. Um, so I don't know if you guys know, we work in retail, which is a disaster shit show. Um, but it's been fun. It's crazy. It's fun. not fun. What are you talking about? It's fun because it's busy and it's fast, and I get to yell at people a little bit, lightweight. Um, but yeah, a little disrespectful. Uh, I would do it a little, throw a little just salt, a little you know, bit, throw a little, a little salt at them. Like, oh, I'm sorry you decided to shop during a pandemic. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, it's, it's we're all doing what we can. I mean, I'm glad that everybody, you know, had that time Thursday, Thanksgiving. That one thing I'm truly blessed with is, you know, was everyone that off that day? Or was that just? The- I was off. I was at home. I mean, I mean, granted, obviously the pandemic and everything like that, you really yeah. couldn't go visit the family and see the family where you wanted to. But it was just nice having something, being at home, being with family, getting the time to yourself. So I hope you guys had one. Flowers, you had a good one. Mikey, you had a good one. Hope you guys had a good yeah, one. Yeah, I had a really good Thanksgiving. You guys looking out there. I know. I think Thanksgiving was actually, uh, I think it was Alex's birthday. Alexander Dayu. Alexander oh, Dayu. Happy birthday. Yeah. Belated. Sunday. Belated birthday. Happy belated, Belated my guy. birthday, okay? I appreciate you. I mean, he's Canadian, so he doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, but it's okay. Canada, you're okay. You're all red in my eyes. Canadians don't have a Thanksgiving? I don't, I don't think. I saw somewhere I that the like English the Thanksgiving them starts up, in bro. October. Huh? I saw somewhere that Thanksgiving in Canada starts in October. I don't know if that's <clears> facts, but I just need Alex to confirm that. You know, that internet says things. <laughs> I just hear them. You know, sometimes they come in and out the other ear. Sometimes they stick. I mean, they, I they also have Monopoly money, so I wouldn't, you know, count on them <laughs> to be the Monopoly the... guy. <laughs> they have people with monocles? Or is that how it works or what? <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Alexander, <clears throat> write us in. How the fuck does yeah, Canada do work? Do bank tellers uh, have Canada a monocle? Work? Like you come in and they have just that's up in the monopoly Bank monopoly tellers guy? in Canada, moose. Fun moose. fact. They're, They're moose. What? They have animals Oh, that's why it's so slow. Oh, I get it with the big ass horns because of the Kenny, Kenny, oh, the Rocky Canadian. Bull? Is that where Rocky Bullwinkle came from? Because it's kind of there. Vancouver, no, I'm off track now. the moose, <laughs> open season. It all happened in Canada. Mikey, Mikey gets it. Yeah, Maybe I get it. I understand things. I want to go to Canada now. I don't know why. I do too. I don't know what it is. They're just so nice. What you guys been playing? <laughs> what you guys oh, been track. playing? I know. Uh, <laughs> it's good, man. I, for once, finally beat a game. Uh, I don't know if you know about that, Flowers. He doesn't. Uh, he does? Dang. Doesn't, doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. Nah, Why do you come straight for me like cool. that? I just go straight for it, bro. I haven't seen you. Straight for my neck. Uh, no, I, I beat Miles Morales. Uh, I can get into it if I can, but it's a beautiful game. It's definitely a must if you have a PlayStation 5. It's worth it. Uh, I played it throughout Fidelity mode. I switched it up between performance and that. Graphics, story, short and sweet. The best way I could say it, worth it. That's, that's the best you can say? Yeah, I could go more. I mean, <laughs> I could, if I got time, I, I, I uh, We I got, got time. time. Let's get in depth. Eight. So okay, chapter time. one... Page one. Okay, look, right. don't don't just spoil. Like people still haven't oh, gotten the PS Five. Okay, like sorry. I don't, I'm, I don't know if it's it's been some time, right? You can look. No, I mean I I feel like not a I ton of people the game, have so the PS Five. Definitely that shit. Um, worth it is if you want to get a little taste of what the PlayStation Five can do. A hundred percent. Play Miles Morales is the way to go for it. graphics. Is definitely next gen. You can definitely feel it performance wise. You definitely get the controller, the adaptive trigger, the haptic feedback. Everything takes advantage of that console, so you actually don't feel like what you had the last console generation where you have a PlayStation 4, but you just don't feel like it was next-gen. I definitely felt like PlayStation 4 was next-gen. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you played Killzone. You like uh, Killzone, but for me, no, not really. Are you saying launch games-wise? Yeah, launch game-wise. <clears throat> launch game-wise, Mal- yeah, Mal- is the, the only best thing launch on, game probably. I, I get what the, you're trying to say. I, I think the only thing with PS4 that was like next-gen at launch was Resogun, just because of the amount of but particles that's that they could put on the screen. Game. That's like one of those, like, uh, I mean, if you're talking about quick games, that game is literally two minutes to play one time, and it's like a fucking mobile game. For it's not true at all. You sound dumb. Resogun? With the a lot PS4 of people launch? in the chat right now. Andreas, you're stupid as fuck. That's Andreas, literally one person. What the fuck are you and talking about? you typing. What are you Andreas. talking about? Andreas. Name drop them. Who's saying that? I've seen your nudes leaked online. Look, What's a up, lot of Adrian? people are saying a lot of things What's in the up, chat guys? right now. I appreciate now. you for sliding. <laughs> Big homies out. Look. Ah, uh, fuck. Y'all, y'all threw me off. I honestly didn't know what the fuck you guys are talking we're about. We're talking about, about Spider-Man and Spider-Man. how Andreas is dumb and how he doesn't like Rezogun. Adrian, why do we got to play at 60 frames per second? 
he says we got to play Spider Man at sixty frames per second. I, I did play fidelity. it at one hundred twenty. I that's, did that's fidelity. The performance mode, right? Yeah, performance is that. I yeah. chose fidelity. I wanted the graphics. I I played it in sixty frames. Did it look nice and good? Yeah, absolutely. But you could definitely tell the difference between performance and fidelity in that game. Did you play the original Spider Man? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the does it feel different one? from that one? Yeah. Um, it definitely just feel. I mean, definitely feels different because the controller. The haptic feedback that definitely made it feel different, made it feel new gen. It, it did feel new because obviously the new powers that you get with Miles Morales with the Venom Punch and all that stuff, new combat system. They, they made it, they definitely made it new, and I could definitely see how and why they made it like a short story, like a, not a DLC. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the next one. They did when you watch the credits, watch all of it. They drop a little, you know, Marvel last hint, hint, uh, Easter eggish. Is it like a cliffhanger? Like you think there could be DLC? Not a for this? cliffhanger, but obviously, um, think of it like any type of Marvel movie that you see. They always drop like, "Hey, here's a hint for the next thing." I saw they had like a little like street named after Chadwick Boseman that was in, the, in the story. That was a Boseman way. Yeah, Boseman way. That's yeah. actually the street. Yep. And now, obviously, street. When is, you, a lot of, is there a lot of crime on that street? God no, it's peaceful. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat a picnic be, there. Better for straight be. up, you know, it's beautiful. Be um, <laughs> what, what would you do if they did add a bunch of crime there? Oh, what if like you just doing like all the side missions on Bozeman Way? I like, know all of it. <laughs> I feel some type of way. Like, well, I feel some type of way. Gangs okay. and drug dealers. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you mean on They're Bozeman Way? They're all in this way? one part of the map. No, so it was hella funny, but no, nah, they definitely did that. Um, definitely felt like next gen. Um, there's a couple moments in the game just so I could talk about it. Yes, better than Crash. Um, I can I go spoilish mode a little bit. What you got to say? What's up? There's two moments that I just really like. Talk not to tip to the hat. Thank you for doing it. You know, little things like that. So the first thing they did was obviously hold have that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into spoil, I wouldn't spoil it <laughs> because, like I said, this is the PS5, so it's not our normal antics. And one of the things Alexander did want us to change when I asked, it was a, a spoiling games. Like, oh, he straight up said, like, "Don't spoil crazy. it." Well, no, he didn't say this this particular one. But I know a lot of people are still struggling to get a PS5 right now. Normally, I'd be okay with it if this was like a normal generation. I don't but know just say, faces let's that say has a new you PS5. like. So I'm not spoiling anything content wise as far as like this is like X Y Z happens and then this happens. I'm not it's just moments in the game. All right, Alexander, you have uh, five minutes. Look, mute, compa, your, mute your uh, mute your computer and then literally uh, is uh, is too it's too very quick. Lights. All right, Alex, I'm sorry if this is Polish content free, but it's just super, it's like it's a little salt. Okay, a little, little bit. So first moment, obviously, uh, you do like a little side mission, I believe, or something really quickly, and then you just get a cool Black Lives Matter tribute, <laughs> like straight up. It, it literally tribute? Okay. that makes you like you have to see it. It forces you to stop the game. Black Lives Matter, like something like that. Cool. Like no games really ever have to do that. Ever did that. But obviously, with the position you have with Miles Morales, that character, they took the little time to actually do that. Yeah. Like Everyone's that's just gonna a cool buy this game. Tip so of the definitely hat. A lot of people are gonna see You're that. Right. And it's not something where you could just kind of like walk by and skip. Like it actually. Forces, not even force you, but essentially puts you the controller down. You see the art, Black Lives Matter. He goes on a little speechish, little cool thing, like tip of the hat. Thank you. No game really ever does anything like that. You know, real time events put into a game, things like that. So that's like a cool tip of the hat. Like spoilish, my bad if it is, but that's really cool. Um, second thing that I really like that kind of really like, oh shit, congrats. It was actually having a person, a character in the game that actually it's like is deaf and they actually use sign language. Okay, so like. Like, it's just like a side a character, character like or? it's spider-man like he just goes to it's like a, it's like a side mission and then actually you know that's the girl and then he's just she's deaf so she's like she's like the sign language and so he like, does a whole sign language. they have a legit whole conversation in sign language so it's just a silent cut scenes they just, just silent cut scene i mean you see miles morales like he's signing but he's speaking what he's signing they, but you still like he's they're literally showing you the motions in the correct actual ways of them doing it were they in the hood they were in the hood spider was red was in harlem logo wearing blue Spider-Man's are you sure it was sign language like, oh, were they really damn. throwing down? Like I, they was weren't it silent. They weren't like West Coast, East Coast, like hip hop rap shit. No, no, no. It was like legit. What like was the background music like? A B. C. I mean, it was peaceful. It was birds chirping. Mm, <laughs> dead homies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's dope. Uh, but those two things. I mean, again, it's little things like that that definitely kind of just made that experience better. But overall, the story of Spider Man it definitely gives you a good taste of what Miles Morales is because they haven't really dived deep ever into Miles Morales besides the movie and now this Mm -hmm. so it's a cool kind of Spider-Verse kind of expanding it and kind of letting you know that what else the Spider-Man universe has to offer so definitely something really get into if you're gonna get a new uh, gonna get a PlayStation 5 get yourself Miles Morales I still need to get it I'm gonna get it if you burn through the campaign it is short it is short but knowing my ass, I did every side mission possible if a side mission popped up said hey you could do that side mission hey you could go do collectibles hey you could go do this shit your boy was on it did you patent it? God no, because bitch, if, if bitch. It, tumble vlogs in the chat. I see you. What, what? Good, bro. bitch? Bitch what? what, what bitch, bitch says what? 
<laughs> you didn't plan them it. No, I did not because they want me to do a whole new game. They want you to do a new game plus. And I said, I ain't got time for that. I don't, I'm don't. i beating it twice. I'm cool. Let me go ahead and start Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I started playing that. I played like the first hour. Damn, it looks great. It looks beautiful. I want to get more into it. I want to see exactly what I can get into with that game. Uh, I'm sorry. I got the toxic Call of Duty. <laughs> the, you, you, the got the running, running you got the community going? You got the toxic me. community in yeah, there? Yeah, well, I've been playing Call of Duty, so I guess the toxicity of the online chat's it's grabbing off on me. When I just go straight to calling you a bitch over and over. Oh, there. great. That's what it is. Great. What's good with you, Mikey? How was your Thanksgiving and what you been playing, bro? Um, Happy Thanksgiving you? to you, sir. You fine, sexy looking gentleman over there. Thank you. Uh, I Thank have you, been playing a lot of Call of Duty, and I hate that I've turned oh, in. No, no, listen, 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 listen. I hate that I've turned into one of these Call of Booty COD fuckboy types. You booty know what I mean? munchers. We're basically booty boys. A lot of what I've been that's playing. That's what we call you. <laughs> a lot. A lot of what I've been playing um, is primarily Call of Duty. I mean, I finished out Sackboy. Sackboy's done. Is it in the bag? Mm, platinum uh, it. I'm trying to think about platinum it. Platinum it. Platinum it. <laughs> did you plan it? <laughs> yeah. No, you didn't. Did you get a chance? Little that, do the triggers work how you like how you thought? Because I know that was a big thing. Yeah, you, so yeah. that was something that um I did end up picking up on. At least Adrian. I was talking to Adrian, our uh, producer who usually produces the show. Yeah, where is he? Uh who, does it matter? You know what I mean? Enjoy the peace and quiet. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> um no, but he Adrian. was saying that oh, like he felt the difference in guns and the triggers. I haven't yet, but I only like when I find a gun I really stick to it. So I guess I just haven't played around with the, the guns enough. Um I d I know, dude. That game is it's fun, but it's broken. And again, it's fun because it's Call of Duty, and that's the same formula that they've literally always had. Mm -hmm. uh, but like the chat in it is completely broken, like completely broken. Like, like you can't broken because it's toxic, or you can't. Hear no, no, it. broken like it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that the whole time. Do you do crossplay and stuff that way? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean mm -hmm. crossplay. Yeah, that that's the issue. Is that's I, like the one thing I've noticed with crossplay. Like, I think we, I, it was kind of cool. I had a cool moment where I was like, damn. We're next gen, like not next gen, but like we're actually doing this. I had myself playing on a PlayStation, my buddy was on a PC, and then I had another friend on Xbox, and we we're all playing Call of Duty. And I was like, "Ain't this life right here, where we all have different consoles but playing the same game?" It's cool. It, yeah. it, it is seriously. That felt actually like that. Actually, felt like damn. That's that's what we fucking need. It's Sometimes. awesome. Like, it felt Dude. great. But then obviously the the audio needs to be fixed. <laughs> Because that's like the one thing that happened to me. The audio I know there's no trash. like cross platform party system. Like that's the next level. Because right? let me tell you something real quick, Flowers. I want to interrupt you real quick. Let I'm me sorry. Make a party. Go ahead. Because I decided to play with Mikey. I decided to play with Cheeks. And these six sons of bitches were telling me that my mic was shit. <laughs> you were getting they were just so like, much. I just, Andres, it's, uh, 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 and I was like, fuck you guys. My mic works. You guys need to upgrade your shit. No, dude. It's and that, then it's for that some reason, headset. I was oddball out. And for some reason, I don't know why, it was only with them. Every other party chat that I've been to, any other party or game chat that I've been in, Solid, no issues. Nobody's ever complained. His new these guys were straight headset. being bitches. <laughs> Dumbo, He's you a bitch. So mad. Cheeks, you a bitch. You a bitch. <laughs> All they were saying. Anytime I said anything, I was like, "Hey guys, are over there in Quarry? What the, what the fuck did he say? <laughs> I can't hear him. Just text us. Just fucking text us, dude. What the fuck is <laughs> like? Text. I don't fucking know what these guys are saying. <laughs> he bro. was they were legitimately being dicks. getting furious. I was like, towards like the last match, I was like, I'm just not even gonna talk. I'm just going to just fucking That's ping him. I'm just going to ping. I'm going to be that guy who just pings. Fuck all these guys. I just want to say something right now before say we get too too far off track. Say it with the chest. I like how everybody's gloating about how they beat Spider-Man, but like we all know the game is literally, what, eight hours. And guess what? You, you still haven't beat it. Shift. I haven't bought the game yet. Buy it. But like, look, I, I can't just keep throwing uh, out my face. You want me to let you borrow it? Like, let's oh, switch. Game for a game. Give me I Godfall. beat Spider-Man. You don't know about that flowers. Hey, well, you well, beat a four-hour game. Pizza bet? Good shit. What's a pizza bet? Pizza look, bet? I'm about to buy it today, and I'm going to probably beat it like, okay, I don't know, yeah, after pizza I beat bet. Godfall. Because Godfall, look, Godfall has, it's it's hard for me to finish this game. Oh, uh, typical. Yeah, look. <laughs> typical. No, Why am I surprised? <laughs> look, no, I'm going to hey, do it. guys, this is my I'm surprise gonna face. I'm going to do it. I really what? am. I really want to talk so much like. Like, shit? good shit about the game and but about the PS5 and how, like, oh, the Godfall makes the controller, makes it feel so next-gen, and, oh, you got to have the Godfall, and you got to experience... I, I really want to be that person and do that with Godfall, but I just can't do it because the game is just... It's not that it's not fun, but it's, like, forced fun. Like, I found myself trying to have fun in Godfall 
with trying to like create little objectives within the objectives, right? So it's like, oh, beat these three bosses. But like in my head, I'm like, okay, I gotta beat three, three bosses, beat a mob, then go beat the other boss and see if I can do that all in one life. That's how I have to play the game. And like, yeah, it works out. It's fun because it's like, oh, I'm gonna get my ass beat or I'm gonna these, you know, it's gonna make it harder for me to win because it's a very easy game. Like it's almost so easy that it's not fun. So you beat it already. No. no, it's just, it's <laughs> so easy. Like, it's, there's no there's no gratitude in beating this game. Like, I don't feel satisfied when I beat bosses or I go through different levels. And I'm at the final level. Uh, I think the last little, like, area you can go through is the air. And, like, I've unlocked it. Have I stepped through it? No. Like, I beat, like, the water level. And I'm like, okay. Let that sit. Let that simmer. I've been playing, like, Overwatch low-key. Um, oh, great. Another game you can't beat. Well, there's no story. That's so. why you can't beat it. That's why it's, it's perfect for you. Oh, hey, now, that's why. <laughs> now, I, I, you know, you're not having a good time with Godfall. I'm all. not having a good time with Godfall. Why are you I've a honestly game thought about because we I thought all about playing said Demon we were covering Souls. something for the next gen. And I'm going to recover it. I, I like. No, I no, got I some know, gameplay footage not. coming. Like I got, I got y'all with some coverage, but like it's just not. Yeah, yeah I get you. I get you. I'm just going to save it for the video because this is not. It's just not. We ain't that ain't your money at right now. It's just not. I almost want my money back. Ask for a refund, Doug. Well, send him a letter. I'm call him up. Be like, hey, company. As much as I want to play this game, I don't. So I'm gonna need my cash back. I bought the digital version. So what's up, Sony? They're gonna be all like, "Fuck you, suck my dick, send your PS5 back." I would say that. You're right. Now, I would say that. they th- they threaten me with that. I feel like they would really threaten me to do that, and I couldn't say anything. I just have to hang up. You never let me um, make my pizza bet that I wanted to make, and you move past it real fast, which is fine. Which is fine. I get it. It's a real politician move, but you're not gonna beat Spider Man. I'm gonna beat Spider Man. Okay, then let's bet 100 bucks. Look, Ooh, let's, damn. we're talking about my future. That's I'm talking about my pizza, The only way to take care of the future is to do the present. Got it. Right now, I got Godfall on the line, and it's it's it's, it's kicking my ass. Spider Man by uh, Spider Man by uh, we're not worried about by Christmas. Look, Tombo talking about I'm scared. I ain't scared. You skirt. Spider Man by Christmas. He ain't scared. He skirt. No, dude. This Spider-Man more than Christmas? $25. Yeah, easy. Okay, cool. 100 bucks. I thought we said pizza. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, want to make a hundred dollar bet? No, I want to make a pizza bet. Okay, well, pizza bet. Yeah, I guess he's having pizza for Christmas. Oh, can we throw in some hot chocolate on that too? Sure. Well, why would you, you hey, can we just throw in a hundred dollars on that too? Oh my god. Hey, the way my bank account no. works. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That part. What about? Okay, how about you, bro? What you, you we just so Mikey's been playing that shit of a game called Sackboy Boy and Modern Warfare. I've been thinking about getting the Demon Souls. I really have. Oh my god, dude, you just love getting games you can't beat. Uh, look that one. You if if I did get Demon Souls, I and wouldn't I didn't beat, beat it. it. I, I really couldn't say anything. You know yeah, what I mean, mean <laughs> you know, Demon you're getting Souls into is it. that game. I I don't know. Have you At played any point, of the Demon Souls? No, I haven't played any. It'd be a, that's a great one to get into, especially because the remaster. Yeah, I, I want to experience that with the PS5. But I feel like that'd be it's either experience. that or Cyberpunk comes out. What December thirteenth? Ah, uh, I know Adrian said he wanted to hop in. That's Cyberpunk. coming out December thirteenth though. Doesn't? How are you gonna tell Compa? Either the 10th. I think it comes out very soon. Cyberpunk? It? Cyber comes out either December 10th or December 13th. Monkey I really King said care. I goofed on a bet. What bet? Honestly, should I bet the 100? Or should I just be like, hey. Yeah, he called you out. 100. Monkey King saying don't look be a bitch. Tombo talking about if I'm so confident, just bet the 100. Look, Mikey, look. Let's do it. Let's do oh my God. pizza breaking news. Pizza. Oh, pizza. And what Hot else? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. From Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Damn. Krispy Kreme hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Light hey. on the whip. Light hey, on the whip. hey, that get hot. Hey, hold on, hold on, guys. If y'all don't know, the hot chocolate from Krispy Kreme is a fucking one. Y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all sleep. I'm not even gonna. Hey, that's, that's that's detail, that's that's that shit. good. That shit. No, I specified it for a reason. Um, and what we say, a hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, hundred bucks. Shake on it right now. That's shake good. on it. I need I need Mikey to get in frame and shake on hands for Spider Man just beating the just beating the game. Right. Again, look at the camera. Look into the camera, you sons of bitches. Beating the game before <laughs> Christmas. You're not going to do it, so you're going to owe me hot chocolate from Krispy Kreme, which is funny because that's what you supposed to hide, and you're going to be buying it for me. <laughs> um, a pizza and Don't $100. Don't you have a mic? I'm he over here because I was going to shake it on it with you. But why are you shaking? You're not shaking. You're talking. Uh, because I'm going to talk like this. Nobody can hear me, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so there's a shake. It is official. Mikey and Flowers made a bet. Come on, Monkey King. He said I goofed on a bet. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that one comment by Monkey King Goof. fucked you up and you said he <laughs> took on it. Look, I, I hope you know. I didn't want to take it. Like, I was trying to be my I was trying to be his friend. 
<laughs> like if he had like, me on Death Strand, then okay, Death Strand. Right, we're talking about Death Strand. Right, I lost some money. Hey, bro, Monkey King just. We're talking it. about two hundred dollars actually. Spider Man. We're talking about losing money. It was two hundred. We're talking about Spider Man though. You're in the past. We talking about Spider Man, Miles Morales. Hey, I think he got money on the line. If it's money on the line, Tumble beat the game in like six minutes. That's Tumble. I You're have, nowhere like Tumble. I don't. I have was really. I was right next to Tumble. What any faith. In your ability to break away from like Apex and Overwatch and play with your friends. Are he talking about Mikey just went a hundred um, bucks and some pizza. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. Hey, Clutch, I'm gonna need you to do a favor. Clutch, is just anytime you want, just spam the shit out of invites to flowers, make him feel guilty if you're not being on with the yeah. boys. Tomboy and shit. You Clutch, help me out. Bet. Help me out, Clutch. If uh, if uh, Flowers is online and you're online, make sure you're playing games with him, like Overwatch. Oh, yeah. Tell him to stop being a selfish asshole and be a play by himself. I Tell love him. playing Overwatch. Like I don't know what it is, but like I just got like a Doom Fist. Like, do you uh, play on a PlayStation? Right, you got a PlayStation. I play on the PS4 or yeah, PS PlayStation. Either. It don't matter. I mean, it's cool. I'm on both consoles. Hey, I gotta is say, it? by the way, the PS5 controller. It almost feels like a mix between uh, Xbox and PlayStation as far as how it. Fits in your hand. I like it. I like the way it fits. The analogs, I like the analogs, how high they are. Like, it really makes playing shooters so much easier. Like, compared to the PS4, because, look, you have, like... Uh, if only we had a so PlayStation 5 controller. If you're controller. holding the PS5... Let me grab it. Hold on. Okay, fill some time real quick. I'm going to get, like, five seconds. I don't know. So, he's talking about the PlayStation 5 controller. He's trying to get it. Um, I like the controller. I've, like I said, I was talking about it earlier, about the haptic feedback. That's, like, the biggest feature of it. So, when Liar. Flowers talks about... How you know how it feels like an Xbox and that I don't know what he's talking about, but hopefully he explains it a little bit better because he got it right here. All right, I was good. So uh, check this out. So we got the PS5 controller. You see how like the I wish I can zoom. Let me get up there. Hold on, I got this. <laughs> this is dedication. So it's, guys, just to let you guys know. What are you doing? Flowers is gonna show. Uh, you have to talk because I can't. I realize I can't show them. You know, I'm just gonna talk from here. Fuck it. So <laughs> you see how like the th the the thumbsticks right They're up yeah. here. So when you hold it, you're, 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 you're holding the controller and your thumbs are kind of like in an upward position. Now that changes the game, all right? Because you have the PS4 controller now, right? And your thumbs are much lower. So you look how I'm holding it compared to being up here. I'm down here. And that's, it's very slight and subtle. Let me see what the fuck you're talking about. It's real slight and subtle, but trust me, playing like what Apex for sure or playing Overwatch. What do you mean what I mean? You don't feel how like see look now you're trying to force your fingers to go back down, but no. you realize you don't have to. Like what do you mean down like this? No, look, look. Give me give me the goddamn. I'm so confused, boys. Look. Cause truthfully, this is like how I would hold it right here. Why are you so aggressive? Like, why are you you gripping the fuck out of controller? Oh, why are you I'm trying sorry. to break your shit? Why am I? I ain't gonna break, bro, you know how many controllers I have? He's a bear. I uh, probably enough to break look, it. And go I got to the man next bear paws. I'm sorry, I got look, size bro, ten look. hands. All right, so. <laughs> For those who just comfortably just hold the controller without trying to grip the death out of it, right? You, you, you see what I'm talking about, right? You kind of just, bam, you got your thumbs resting. You can kind of swivel around. You don't, you don't hold your controller? No, like no I'm, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. You put your, you, hold on, you put your thumbsticks in the middle of your thumb? Yeah, yeah that's what he's saying. He's dead ass. Yeah, the line, of, okay, for if you're listening, Flowers just said he plays games with the thumbsticks and he rests the middle you know that line the first line on your thumb he, put he the puts thumbstick that there on the thumbstick yeah yeah it yeah, depends on what game i'm playing Look, no i'm nice i'm no. nice in my games all right before i get into the news i just want to say real quick no, if you missed the show the live <laughs> uh it's supposed to be live on monday but you know my friends work cyber monday so here we are on tuesday so Normally live, 7.30 p.m. on twitch.tv forward slash P Productions. Um, but if you missed the live, you can watch it. It would be on a Tuesday at 10 a.m. on youtube.com forward slash play everything. Yes. And you can also listen to it on podcast services around the globe. Uh, today is Tuesday, so you know everything I just said is going to apply to a Wednesday. So Wednesday, 10 a.m., podcasts. Uh, yeah, we're going to be live tomorrow if you missed it live or if you missed, the live, I, I said live too many times. I threw myself off. We live. Thank you guys. Cut, cut. Take it from the top. No, I think you, I think I understand what I was trying to say. So we're just going we're just gonna keep moving forward. Like I understand what I was saying. All righty. So first piece of news. 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 Oh, I love you, man. I, the way Flowers holds his controllers, like the way that word that weird person in class was holding that pencil. It was like everybody generally has the right way of writing a pencil. You're like that weird dude who like holds it like hell. You know, there's dude. actually legit like right way. To You're hold that a pencil. fucking guy with the controller analogy. Right You're the now. You know what? I'm not about to go back and forth with you right now. I'm sorry. To hold a pencil right. Fuck. Fans want to save Daredevil as a character uh, as the rights revert back to Marvel. Uh, so this happened, I think, over this weekend. Yes. Um, 
the the license for Daredevil reverted back over to Marvel, which originally was held by Netflix. Um, and people started this Save Daredevil campaign, which I did a little bit of research into. It's pretty much saving the cast mm-hmm. of Daredevil that Charlie was on Cosby. the Netflix show, which got canceled back in like 2018. So it's been two years. Um, I think they had like two seasons, three seasons. Daredevil had three seasons. Daredevil had three seasons. Everybody else pretty much had two. Yeah. Except for Iron Fist. That one only had one shitty one. Yeah, so along they canceled a bunch of Marvel shows on Netflix. Iron Fist, Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. Jessica Jones, Side of the Two, uh, Luke Cage, Netflix, I think, had one. Punisher, I believe. Luke Cage was cool. Punisher was cool. Punisher, I think, had two. I don't think Punisher... I think Punisher was finished, right? Yeah, but Punisher was fucking good, though. What was the other one? The Jessica Jones, the black dude she was fucking... The Defenders. No, no, well, no, 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 no. It was, it was that, a black dude. That was the show. It's called... No, it was his own show. It was I like Jessica it Jones... Luke Cage. Yes. That, yeah. My bad, yeah, Luke Why'd Cage. you call it the Defenders? Like, Because that's like the Avengers of the show. But I said Luke Cage. No, you didn't. You said the Defenders. And it had Marshall Ali. I think the... I forgot, I forgot to say his name, but I forget the villain name, but I know the actor's name. Yeah. Because he's from Oakland. What's up? He's from the Bay. What's good? So I bring this the topic town. up. The town, baby. But no, uh, Charlie Cox is like the best person to kind of... Uh, he's definitely the best person I've seen ever as far as Daredevil. I mean, better than Ben Affleck. Fuck that guy. Um, they're trying to get the rights back into Marvel. I am so down for this. The cast for Daredevil was perfect. I think Daredevil in on Netflix, they definitely had the tone right. Everything was right. They made it so well versed, and it felt a little forced when they started trying to force the defenders. As far as like like I said, the defenders of the show. That's when it felt a little forced. But they, the one thing, the fo- the solid foundation of the defenders was Daredevil. Yes, Daredevil, hands down. An amazing show that they should definitely bring back. I hope they do, even if it's on Disney Plus. Yes, go ahead, my bad. I'm all, I can keep going. You, you got no, no, no. Um, I was gonna say, um, I, I'm honestly excited that Marvel is taking mm. this into hands. Yep. Um, I actually looked into one of the reasons why Netflix canceled the show right. is because it costs so much money to make. They said it costs, I think, two hundred thousand an episode to produce the show, and mm. you know, what I mean, for Netflix. I feel like the show was definitely like that was probably like the best show out of oh, all. Like 100%. that Marvel show we just named Jessica Jones all that. like Daredevil Heat like straight Nothing first but. episode straight action. I was like I'm hooked. Uh, honestly, I like the 2003 movie with Ben Affleck too. So fuck you. I like that one. Why not? Electra? Are you fucking kidding me? Jessica Gardner? She was fucking Electra? Okay, but if look, you go talk talking about, about whitewashing car- uh, cast and like characters and shit, that's the number one fucking example. Jessica fucking Gardner as Electra? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, look. Okay, what the I'm not gonna go fuck is that? Character. Wilson Fisk tuning that shit? Don't even get me started, bro. Daredevil? Are you kidding me? Ben fucking Affleck? Look. You kidding me? But the scenes were good. They had some you really good yourself. scenes. You blind, you blinder than him, bro. You blinder. What the fuck were you? Honestly, watching? Daredevil. That movie was like <laughs> such a good example of what Daredevil was. Like for me, I was got a good explanation of like, no. oh, this is Daredevil. No. Oh, this is what Daredevil can do. Oh shit, Daredevil can fucking. He's blind. He can still fucking see because he has fucking super hearing. So they Daredevil. had a little like weird like black and white kind of like transition so he can like his vision. Yeah, and fuck with it, Daredevil. Heavy. So here's the thing about Daredevil. There's certain movies like there's certain superheroes. That fits into a movie category, aka the Avengers, Thor, Iron Man. Then you have these B characters, these B heroes that fit perfectly into a TV show. Daredevil? Daredevil is one of Daredevil those things where it's actually has crossovers with the Avengers. Bitch, let me talk. Okay, I'm sorry. Because Daredevil fits perfectly into the category of TV media. It's perfectly. It's just perfect for it. There's, it's, you have to build that story, build that character, what? build that into it. You can't expect people to be like, oh, this guy's blind because fucking acid fell into his eyes in 20 minutes and now he's a superhero. Gradually build it the way they do Daredevil in that show with those flashbacks with the priests and all that shit. Fucking amazing. Grace my case, Your Honor. So if that's, Mar- what he, that's what he says because he's a lawyer. Woo! So Marvel's gonna take over Daredevil, and right? You know they got so much big money. Talk about this, bro. Daredevil got bi- not Daredevil. Marvel got big money, so you know said he Daredevil does. got booty. I thought that's what you were about to and say. And they raised the fucking prices. You know that shit? On what Disney Plus? No, Netflix. Netflix is gonna raise the price again. Oh well, I don't pay for Netflix, so <laughs> <laughs> got, got him. <laughs> uh, Daredevil definitely needs a big money budget. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it deserves to really tell a good story, and. Marvel for sure. I think this falls in the right hands. Now the Save Daredevil cast, I don't. You know, I, it's not that I don't care mm-hmm. for it, but like you don't care about jobs. I want to see Dare. I want to see Daredevil transition into the Marvel universe. Like it's good. you know, there's there was a their, their kids could rumor. just starve. You said the kids are gonna starve. Yeah, their kids could just starve. Yeah, who's exactly. kids? Fucking heartless monster. You said you don't care. You don't care about people about people jobs. losing their jobs. Look, 
I mean, we can play. We can cast Charlie Cox in a Daredevil movie. You know what I mean? Don't like, what if we get like a Daredevil like standalone movie, and then we get like an Avengers like whoosh, Daredevil and the Avengers? That's happened. That's so, happened in the comics. They're filming Spider Man three right now, and I remember he crossed over with Spider Man too. Way Sorry. back when, no, 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 that's that's kind of the reason why. I remember way back when, like I don't know if it was over the summer. They were there was rumors of how they want Daredevil in Spider Man. Yes. So the rumor was, I'm probably, I don't know if you could probably read it online, but there was like a rumor or speculation or just somebody writing saying, obviously the way Spider-Man ended, he got exposed as being the Spider-Man, right? He's like, hey, that Spider-Man Mysterio revealed that he was, Peter Parker was Spider-Man. So obviously that's how the cliffhanger ending happened. There was rumors saying that the Daredevil Charlie Cox could be in Spider-Man 3 as a lawyer, as his like representing Peter Parker mm-hmm. and Charlie Cox is his lawyer. And so Daredevil essentially takes on the mantra of Spider-Man to say, hey, look, that Spider-Man, Peter's here. That can't be him. And that's how he kind of relieves the duty of, like, that's not Peter Parker. Spider-Man isn't Peter Parker. Great fucking movie idea, isn't it? What a movie that would be. I be don't, crazy. yeah. I mean, who knows? I mean, I hope they fucking do something like that because obviously that's the big cliffhanger ending. Spider-Man 3, can't wait. But they need to bring back Daredevil. They need to bring back the TV media. Disney Plus would be perfect for it. I don't know how they would go into that rated R yeah, like, spectrum of it too because yeah. what kind of I mean Daredevil was kind of dark. It definitely was dark. I mean, is what Deadpool other, on Disney Plus? It's gonna be. I mean, they finally got the green light to go ahead and do Deadpool three, so it's gonna be officially a Disney Marvel movie. So I don't know how they're gonna be you know, bang bang doing all those fucking type of I just think Daredevil that's definitely book. a character that needs to be put into you know the big the, the limelight of Marvel. Yeah, and I'm I'm here for it. Which one did you like least out of the whole like Avenger and uh, Defenders shows? That I liked least. Everybody's I didn't watch them all. I didn't watch them all. I Iron watched. Everybody hated Iron Fist. I watched. I actually Iron Fist was very Loki? corny. I'm not gonna lie to you. Loki. I feel like very, Loki. Very you liked corny. it. Hey, the girl though. The girl I'm in that lie show. To you and say mm. I did, but no. Mikey, which one do you like? <laughs> Couldn't give a TV. fuck about any of this. <laughs> 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 you don't like any of it. No, fucking, none of it. Can we stop acting like Daredevil's a fucking interesting character? He fuck. Oh my. All right. What a piece of shit. Uh, so what, you got to get bitten by a spider to be interesting. No, apparently. No. You gotta. You gotta apparently. fucking. You gotta be from fucking. Spider Man's interesting. You had everything to say about Spider Man. I mean, it's more than just that. You know what I mean? It's more than just the origin. Mikey it hates fun. Thank Mikey. you. Also, you are you really blind fun. if you can see? You know, like let's all just take a moment and really reflect on that statement. Like a high thought. Said. No. That's kind of an idea right there, yeah. No, he said... So, like, are bats blind? What, what, what would you good, call a bat? That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm I asking think, you. I'm not no, making he's a point. Not, he's not making a point. He's asking. No, I'm saying that's a good point. Are they blind? I don't think so. I think they are. I think they're a bunch of fucking fakers. <laughs> Echolocation. I mean, by, you know, you can't really see anything, so I... You know, but he blind. can't see everything. He can't if he see was, it all. He, he sees shapes. Oh, oh, yeah, he's walking into walls, flowers. He's just fucking bumping into fucking Have furniture you seen all the show? place. He has this little, he has a little stick he's sticking. So, you know what, Becky? I really want you to, I want the next blind person you fucking see, I want you to go up to him <laughs> and just be like, hey, man, can you really fucking see? Yeah, like, that, I no, 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 that's many, not. I want you to go up to his face and be like, how many fingers? <laughs> like, I want you to fucking. Look, that's not, look. <laughs> Look, look, this got away from the the narrative of this got away from me you're right a piece here. Of shit, that's not bro. what I'm saying. I'm you saying think all you said like he can, no, no, they no. have sonar hearing. No, Is no, that what you're saying? No, I said bats, first of all. Let's make that extremely clear right here. <laughs> I said bats, all right, are fakers, all right? <laughs> Two, I said daredevil, like obviously blind people can't see, but he's a super uh, blind person who can see. So he's super blind, which means he can't even see more than what other blind people can't see. Boom. Super blind. You but can't say super blind. How is he how knocking is out motherfuckers? Than the other? Uh, no, okay, chat, this is getting away from us. <laughs> now chat's saying Mikey bullies blind people. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You want to keep this, going? This is really shit. getting away from me here, guys. Oh, shit. Hey, how are you going to recover from this one? Look, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to lose another job over this. This is not what I'm saying. Dun, <laughs> I'm not dun, saying dun. blind people are <laughs> fakers or that I'm bullying blind people. I'm saying I honestly, I don't know how what you're trying to say, bro. does... Uh, what's his name? Iron Fist? Who are we talking about? Daredevil? Yeah, honestly, Daredevil. I feel like you just don't have an appreciation for disabled doesn't. superheroes. Oh, okay. And okay, all right. Let's move past this. <laughs> I'm done with this topic. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that if they bring it back, I, if Disney Plus would be I just a, it would add another catalog to their shows. They have Mandalorian, which is amazing. Shout out Grogu. Um, they have. Uh, I need to catch up on that. 
Uh, it just adds more to their catalog other than Mandalorian. Like they're gonna, I know they have one division coming out very very soon. Uh, uh, come on, stop they have, my news stories, man. Damn. I'm talking about you know Winter Soldier coming out. Damn. But again, think about the, that rotation. Ooh, if they have that I'm rotation yearly, like that, it gives me a reason to put on Disney Plus rather than just Mandalorian. No, there's no about other reason for that. I've had uh, Disney Plus for what uh, a solid year, year now. Yeah, but the yeah. only thing I've watched on is Mandalorian and the Muppets Treasure Island. <laughs> but that's a that's a sidebar. I watched a couple episodes of sidebar? The Simpsons. A couple episodes of what? Of the Simpsons. I guess a couple episodes. You know. Look, next piece of news. <laughs> news. <laughs> Microsoft working on why PS5 outperforms the Xbox. So check this out. So Digital Foundry. Mm-hmm. Um, which apparently is some you know big wig digital uh, analysis company uh, did an analysis on both the the PS5 which has you know the ten teraflops we can get into the teraflops uh, and then the Xbox which has twelve teraflops right so after they did some analysis they they came to a conclusion that Devil May Cry uh, on the Xbox looks better performs better in 4K in ray tracing mode but the the PS5 has better frame rate Call of Duty same thing. You get better ray tracing, you get better performance modes, you get better 4K, but you get the better frame rate on PS5. Same thing applies to Assassin's Creed, which I don't know if you've toggled that. You don't even want to know that's played Assassin's Creed. I Mike just has played Call of Duty. I don't know if he's toggled between the... I don't know if there's a mode switch between those two games as yeah, far as uh, Assassin's Creed has A one. lot more difficult than it should be, hands down. For what? Um, for the toggling between things. I was trying to toggle between it and Call of Duty to play it in 120 frames per second. Super yep. easy. Uh, no, no, no. In Call of Duty, it's not. Uh, probably. Because it's like you have to like go and you have to make your primary setting on your PS4. Because PS4, you can set what like your... PS4, PS5. What your yeah, PS5, sorry. To get your PS5 to get to go. Yeah, you have to like set like preferences essentially on how you want to play games. So you have to go in and then change that and then go back into Call of Duty, reboot it. And then we'll change the setting. So wow, that could only take you probably a minute. That's a lot more stuff. It's steps. like downloading Steam and then downloading Epic, bro. You don't get it. Don't try to use my own fucking arguments against me, sir. I'm wow. saying this, this generation is about convenience. The convenient thing would be, oh, open the menu, performance mode. Oh, open the menu, fucking what's the other mode? He's got a point. Visual mode or whatever the fuck it's called. So certain developers have spoken... On, you know, why that, you know, why that's the thing. Why does the Xbox look a lot better while the, the PS5 performs a lot better? Um, the Verge said, this is coming from an article from The Verge, uh, have said that some of the issues stem from the fact that Microsoft only allowed developers to submit games for Xbox Series X certification in June, whereas developers had access to the PS5 dead kits far in advance. Um, we are, and this is a quote coming from Microsoft, we are aware of the performance issues in a handful of optimized titles on the Xbox and are actively working with our partners to identify and resolve the issues to ensure optimal experience, says Microsoft spokesperson. As we begin to uh, a new console generation, our partners are just now scratching the surface of what next-gen consoles can do. Minor bug fixes are expected to take full advantage. We are eager to continue with the development, blah, 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 blah. A lot of stuff like that, obviously trying to say, like, you know, we don't want the PS5 to be topping us. They don't. But the PS5 but is topping you. They're, they're, they're definitely top. Mm. PS5 is topping you. What matters more to you guys, though? Mm. Teraflops. I'm just kidding. I don't know. As far as the, the visual, as, as far as this next gen goes, I'm talking about. As far as visually, like, do you want to see the games look visually like, oh my God, or do you want it to like feel like butter? Depends on the game. There's a, depends on the game. Like, for me, um, Spider Man was definitely more about the visuals. Like, I mean, again, if I'm talking about shooters, I want frames per second. I want FPS. I want faster than that. You're crazy, That's interesting. Dude. I for swing sure in, would want frames per second. Swing yeah, exactly. in through Spider Man, you don't want to. Oh, well, you, but that again, yes, screw. You. That's exactly what I did. So the way I played the game, it was super. Because that's when you were talking about how it was hard for you to toggle between, you know, both performance and fidelity, whatever. Yep. On uh, Spider Man, it was super easy. I would, you would literally just go option menu change, boom, boom, back and forth, and just literally resets it. So that's exactly how I played the game. Performance so over when I did yep. actual campaign missions, I would purposely go to fidelity mode, and then when I was doing the side missions and just swinging around, I would yeah, I would go back to performance and get those sixty frames. So it was super easy for me to just go back and forth because I would just go, boom, I'm done with that mission. Oh, there's hella side missions. There's hella side quests for me to do. Cool, let me switch over. Boom, do that. Because well, obviously, no, um, Assassin's Creed, my bad. No, 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 you're good. That. When uh, Assassin's Creed, I'm barely getting into it. As of right now, I've only done the fidelity mode for it, where it's just the visuals for it. Um, I just play back and forth, see how I really want to play with it, see how it feels. More than likely, Assassin's Creed, it's not really heavy on graphics, so I might do performance on that one. Just go straight up to 60. Interesting. You know, I you're an interesting person to see you want Thank visuals you. over performance. Yes, sir. 
I mean, you do get 4K yes, 60, right? That's not bad. I think that's better than what the console generation was before. I think everything ran at 30 frames before. I yeah. think a handful of games ran in at 60. fake K. It's fake K? Yeah. What about you, Cheeks? What are you looking for? Like, I know Call of Duty is probably going to be much more like an FPS shooter, right? Obviously. Yeah, you correct. Frame rate is going to be more important there. I, I play Call of Duty in uh, a higher frame rate. Sackboy, I played in high fidelity. And uh, Why you Spider-Man, mode? I'm going to do performance. Would you do performance the performance? Games? I think this is interesting because I think a lot of the Xbox titles are shooters. Like a lot of like the good ones that everyone's waiting for are going to be shooters. So this is like shooter shoot baby. Why are your shooters not you know as good as y'all y'all say it's going to be? At least right. I mean it is right now, and I guess that yeah. statement they made about like oh you know developers discretion to surface that holds true for everybody, right? Yeah, but I think one thing I, I read about that article too is like uh, Xbox is kind of like oh shit, why is it outperforming us? But I read, I read the article too, and they were just saying that oh, the maybe they're trying to kind of find a blame, saying like maybe the reason why it's a little bit better is because uh, the PlayStation Five dev kits were handed out earlier. Yeah, they exactly. were saying, hey, we're gonna give the dev kits a little. They they had it for like a couple months extra. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Flowers, we got a question from the chat. What's uh, up, chat? What we got? Tom Vlog from Play Everything Productions asked, uh, uh, "Well, let's ask you this, Flowers. What will help you beat a game, performance or visuals?" Ooh, ooh, damn, none of them. None of the above. Is there an option? <laughs> is there a C option? Is there a C option, Tumble? Is there a C option? <laughs> is there a no way, no, Jose? I want to see here if all for performance. Um, I've toggled even on Godfall between like the little two modes and like performance. Like it almost feels like the screen is tearing on that. Look, I just got a lot of shit to bag on Godfall for. But it almost feels like the game is almost jittery. And um, the you know the graphic enhanced mode on on this t- on this game, so mm. performance for sure. I'm probably gonna run performance on Spider Man. Probably gonna run performance on any other game, truthfully, because I'm here for the the frames per second. Like, fuck the visuals. Like, I got the 4K TV. Like, the TV will do what it does. <laughs> you feel me? The TV gonna do its best. Not ray console- tracing, huh? This is not ray tracing. Isn't that done by the console? Yeah, but you turn that off when you uh, do uh, performance mode. Oh, point. But like shadows, or do I want the silky movement? Do I want the shadows, or do I want the silky movement? Mm. It's like the song. You know what I mean? You know, so what, like. what the fuck did he just say? I don't know. <laughs> my Spanish viewers, you heard him. Was that even Spanish? He spoke. No. Anyway, oh. remember when we were talking <laughs> about Xbox? Just to break this awkward silence while you pull up the next story. Yeah. Uh, remember when uh, we were hearing rumors about how the PS5 runs like shit? And here we are. I think midlife, PS5 is going to be so fucking good. Like, the games are going to feel so good. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm excited. Versus the Xbox. I feel like Xbox really won't, like, blossom, blossom towards, like, maybe, like, end of mid. Because this report I read, um, some developers were saying that the reason why they couldn't really, like, max out the frames per second was because they said, like, there was something that was holding the Xbox back. Uh, I believe the article was talking about something with the AI within the xbox and they couldn't figure it out and they couldn't get around it like the xbox was set like intentionally holding the games back so i don't know if that's just a toggle it's switch so funny dude because it's like it literally is like that is such a playstation thing to do whatever that they did yeah that added there that that's holding the the frames per second back that is a playstation thing to do like remember with the ps3 with the cell yeah. shade processor mm. <clears throat> good times man meanwhile sony's dropped the, what is it the second system update in Have the last noticed. two weeks um, they haven't spoken on what it is, and I'm sure they're not gonna. You know, they're not going to because it's they know whatever they're doing, yeah. it's better than Xbox. So Xbox needs <laughs> to figure out what they're doing, and Xbox. I mean, Sony's just kind of sitting there, like, yeah, no, we're you know fixing bugs, fixing we got bugs, you, we got you. um, and improved system performance. Haven't spoken on it. They're just telling you, you know, there's literally no notes for this update. It just says solving bugs and solving what kind of bugs? performances. So. Give me fucking memory. Give me the memory patch. <laughs> I will Honestly. buy the four hundred dollar memory <laughs> stick. Just let me. I have two Call true. of Duty games on that thing, and it takes up more than half the the hard drive. Because realistically, you get like six hundred gigabytes. Yeah. Call of Duty, both Call of Duty's Warzone, and then um, the, the new boat. one takes up like three hundred. And then yeah. I have Spider Man, and then Sackboy, and then Rogue Company, and then I'm pretty much at my max. So that's why I kind of wanted to beat Spider Man so. Re- badly is because delete it. Of, yeah exactly <laughs> like once i'm done with that i'm kind of like all right cool there's no replay value for it delete have you guys played your ps4 since you got the ps5 no no I, that's crazy I, I i stole mine you stole it for real yeah that's crazy i still play mine honestly 
I think it's definitely like a necessity to keep a PS4 at this point in time because it's oh, like, it's because Overwatch got it. Not even because of Overwatch. I can still <laughs> I play Overwatch on the PS5, but it's just like, why am I gonna at this point? I'm gonna have to cycle games in and out. Like I don't want to yeah. keep doing that. Yeah, like no, I no. like this game. I want to keep it on there. I got my PS4 for that, and it's like you can still you can stream play with remote play off the PS4, so I can still play Godfall and the terrible True. graphics on the PS4, which you know works and vice versa. So I ain't tripping. Um, next piece of news I got for y'all though, Rockstar um, and uh, sets up to say, well, I think it's already on sale. Red Dead Online gets its standalone release. Fuck so me. there's Red Dead Two, and there's Red Dead Online, and now they said Red Dead Two, the actual story is its own thing, and now you guys can just buy the story. Uh, I mean, at the online version for uh, five bucks now mm-hmm. on everywhere Xbox, Steam, microtransactions, PS4. baby. Ah, uh, this is. I'm surprised they haven't done this a long time ago because mm. I think uh, GTA 5 is already 20 bucks. That's been out since five ever, so there's no reason to reduce the price on that game. It's like that's kind of like their two money grabbing games yeah. right now. And I was looking at the player base because I was like, who the fuck still plays Red Dead? Because I stopped playing Red Dead. Like I played it for two days and then threw it away. That part. And I was looking up the number. Like you were so excited for it, though. I was. <laughs> And then guess what? I got overwhelmed. I know. And then Anthem came out, another game that you were super excited for, and then you played that. Hey, hey, go fucking blind up sack boy, dude. Go fucking make fun of blind people, piece of shit. Hey, hey, hey. I don't like where this narrative got away from me. <laughs> Mikey ain't shit. But the player base for Red Dead 2 Online is 700,000 players. That's a lot. Uh, actually, in the last month, they said 700,000 players have returned and earned at least one trophy yeah. for the game. I mean, I think it's like booting up the online. You get a trophy. It's funny because I mean, <laughs> I just remember like I remember a while back when people were trying to like they were uh, in Red Dead. They were dressing up as clowns because they weren't getting updates. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it got updated and now they're definitely giving more attention to it. They're they're doing fan service. I mean, that's what fans wanted. That's what they're getting. And people are responding like if you do it's a perfect example of what people want. You give them what they want. They're going to play your game. So when you do the online service shit, yeah, give a trade. The fuck, fuck the story. Like for me, fuck the story. I don't give a shit. Just give me Red Dead. Go fucking Wild Wild West. I could be Will Smith out there doing what's good, you know? Mm-hmm. I'd be fucking dope. Wild I mean, I could just do West. micro transactions, all that stuff, you know? Give me the whatever it may be to kind of go into that. I bet like transitions get old after a while. It's they like, do. okay, like how many times I are they going to reskin like that, my bro. character? Like, I'd okay, rather, he looks know. cool. He looks cool like this. Give him a new hat. Oh, new hat. Cool. Oh, new shoes. I'm going to just save those five buckets. In, I'm going to just save those five bucks in my pocket. Because when Thin Mints come out from the Girl Scout cookies, I'm, I have that ready. So I saw this article from way back, August 4th, 2020, talking about uh, Rockstar and how they said they had big plans mm-hmm. for updates in these games coming April 2021. Um, so they, they they only spoke about this is from uh, what's CEO Strauss Zelnick. Um, he was asked about the future of the game. He didn't really talk too much. He just said both Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead will receive major updates later this fiscal year. So I don't know. People dressed up like clowns. So it looks like Rocksteady, uh, Rocksteady, Rockstar got something in their pocket. What and I might low key hop back into GTA Five, which cool. I heard they were gonna drop a new heist, like a little solo play heist. Cool. And mm-hmm. I don't know what's gonna. You you're know. gonna lose your hundred dollars. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. I'm losing hundred dollars. He yeah, said because you're gonna you get back on that. Guess what? You won't play Spider Man. You won't beat it. And then Clutch is gonna get on. He's gonna be, hey man, let's go play Overwatch. You be like, yeah, dude, let's go. No, see, that would be a problem if I bought Call of Duty, but I'm not gonna buy that. <laughs> Dumbass game. It's a great game. Warzone's still up there. Um, speaking of battle royales, I don't. Uh, is it part of the news? No. Uh, uh, the Fortnite event. Was a Fortnite event? Yeah. Battle royale. Warzone. Yeah. I mean, there's like a 10 minute Fortnite event. Uh, it's on YouTube now. There's like a whole Galactus event, and I think it's starting the new season. There's like oh, a countdown that. now. There's like a new countdown for like I think the new season. That's what's going on. Um, but that's all part of that new Fortnite. That happened. If you look at it, if you guys have time, look up the Fortnite. Pretty sure there's a bunch of videos. Just put Fortnite live event. It's it looked pretty cool. I watched like the first half of it. A lot of streamers were obviously streaming that and then playing that. Um, it looked cool. I mean, it's it definitely. Great. It wasn't enough for me to go back into it because it's already over. But only if Mikey could show us what you were talking about. I know. All I see is a timer, but it's, it's okay. okay. It's all right. He's you know he's doing his own thing. Galactus is what kind of it is, but it, it definitely went away from what like Fortnite was. I mean, they definitely added Marvel and everything Marvel, so it kind of definitely took away from what. I don't know. It didn't feel Fortnite. 
Obviously, if that makes any type of sense. I mean, they've been doing this kind of Marvel skin thing since... For a like, while, this whole season was all yeah. Marvel. So, obviously, now that this season is over, let's see what they got next. Galactus, uh, isn't he like a Marvel like villain now? He's the main... He's like... Uh, rumor has it, he's like the next big villain after yeah. Thanos. Yeah. So, like, they so had Thanos, Galactus now they is have like Galactus. A, I'm not surprised. He's a sentient being. He's like a big ass motherfucker. He he destroys planets. He doesn't even kill Red motherfuckers. Red Dead Online is no bueno, says Monkey King. But never even touched it. Red what? Dead Online, my bad. I, mean, I keep cutting. That's you my off. boy. No, that's no, not good for Monkey King. My boy, he he knows what's up. He just he understands. Adrian says his PS5 is already full. He has ten gigabytes left. You got a PS5 and downloaded every game you had. So that's your fault. Hats off to you, sir. But if you fucking downloaded Viva Pinata on your bitch, you're stupid. Hey, uh, do not talk shit on Viva Pinata. I could talk about shit, but we opinion. Oh, you trying to? I mean, it's a little too late now. Yeah, we're about to move into the next topic. I appreciate. Uh, did you the, see me close it? Yeah, you did. <laughs> did you see me close it before? <laughs> I appreciate. The did you see me close it before? Oh, I brought it. Like I brought it up. Brought it up. It's next piece good. of news. Thanks, Adrian. I mean, Thank Mikey. You. Oh, damn. Next piece of news. Uh, I'm gonna circle back to what Compa was talking about earlier, as far as Disney Plus and what they bringing is, because I got a whole lineup of dates. For content that I've been waiting a year to get that was promised the year before, but um, it's about who's keeping track, right? Who's keeping track of these dates? Because, you know, I want what I paid for. Yes, tell me. Tell me what I'm going to get into, bro. WandaVision. Yes, sir. Which is the show with, uh, what's her name? Oh, look at this. Scarlet Witch Scarlet and Witch Vision, and right? Yeah. And it's like that old, like, sitcom looking. So that's so, coming in January 15th. My bad, what? No, no, no. I was going to chime in real quick because I guess, I don't know how exactly they're doing their show. Um, it's I saw something that said that they can, they're spoofing other shows like into segments of their show, and if that makes any sense. They're trapped in this weird world. They're like trapped in the afterlife or some shit. They're trapped in like life and death and that type of thing. That's where Vision is at, and Wanda, obviously, she's trying to fucking, not Wanda, what the fuck, Scarlet Witch, she's trying to go <laughs> save them, so she goes Cover? into that realm of what they're in, and I guess oh. they're like reliving something, and then like What's each episode, shit? each episode from, I don't know if I'm right or wrong about this, but each episode is supposed to be a different take of what a sitcom show would be, so they have like a early 70s show, like an early 70s sitcom type show, and that style it's shot in, apparently they have like bits of like The Office, like they have an Office type episode, apparently. Interesting. Either an episode or a moment. Like it's super weird that I what I was reading, but I'm really interested in how they pull this show off and exactly how it ties into actual the universe because they already straight up said any Marvel Disney Plus show is going to be tied into uh, the Marvel universe. So see how this right now you see how it's like old school comedy. Like yeah. Th- so each episode like it's not like the whole series isn't going to be this style. They're going to have one episode in this style. They're going to in this format. And then there's going to be another episode in another format, like a different style. So you're like telling me this is all one episode. And then that's, this is going to be like another episode. No, different. Guess oh. what? And then that's what it looks. And somehow they're like, reli- I don't know if this person's supposed to be a big character because she's oh. the one who's like trapped with, um, Mar- he's like trapped in this world. And then Scarlet Witch is trying to save him. We could just pimp slapped her. So Damn. see, and Bitch, that's what they're the doing. Car. So like, see, like this is another one. See, another style. Like each, oh. see, and like they're trapped in this world, and essentially they're like in this cycle, and then that's kind of how they're getting out of this cycle and out of that world. Oh, look so at Copa putting this on. That's the idea. I don't know how they're gonna do it. How it really ties into again the Marvel Cinematic Universe because yep. they obviously say that these shows are gonna be tied to the movies. Well, they're dead, so it doesn't matter. Nope, they're gonna come back. No, they're dead. Shut the fuck up. That's why they're able to do this. <laughs> you, I mean, maybe, possibly. Who knows? I hope not. That sucks. No, they're dead. My For sure. My so the going Black Widow on. movie. So how comes. are you gonna do it with? Okay, my bad. Not, no, 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 no. I'm no. on a tangent now because no, if, I want to know how. I mean, they're saying that they're straight up saying that this is part of the MCU, right? So uh, Mikey's saying they're dead. I don't know how this essentially show would tie. So you're saying straight up? I, mean, I don't know. This show is going to be tied to MCU. I'm it's going to be some Did multiverse they die in the bullshit. Anymore? And I know, obviously, Captain America or Falcon and... Uh, yeah, he has a show. That's going to be... I know that's going to be tied into the MCU as well. They don't have any date on that. Though. I just want to figure out how. All I want to know is how. I trust Marvel. I trust Kevin Feige. I trust those guys. They're nerds. I trust them. Remember so we got when Black Widow movie coming in May. My bad, Cheeks. What were you about to say? I was about to say, remember when we were going to get Black Widow this year? Oh, <laughs> it's God. It's coming. May 7th. They got a date on it. It's coming in hot. 
And that's uh, Disney Plus confirmed? I don't know if it's Disney Plus or it just says Marvel movies. It doesn't say Disney Plus. So I'll let you, like, WandaVision, Disney Plus. Black Widow, just standalone movie. May 7th, I'm sure, because, you know, Disney Plus didn't want to go rated R. So I'm sure, you know, it's going to get pretty bloody, maybe. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and then Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings, which mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck. Um, that's coming July 9th, 2021. And then Eternals is going to finish the year off November 5th. Spider-Man 3, December 17th. That's actually going to finish the year off. You, are you guys seeing the rumors of uh, or on IMDb? It has uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire yeah. on the IMDb for Doctor Strange. Yep. For Doctor, for Doctor Strange? Strange or Spider-Man? I thought it was Spider-Man. Uh, no, I thought it was Doctor Strange. No, I, I've seen I, them both. I didn't see what movie. I saw that it was for Spider-Man 3. So Spider-Man 3 is apparently rumored to cast it into it. And I think that's how they're splitting off Marvel and uh, Sony. Because, you know, Sony has a rights to fucking Spider-Man. Yeah. So they're tying into all the other Spider-Mans as far as, like, multiverse. So they could easily bring into, like, the animated version of it, too, and all that stuff. It's super weird. I don't know how exactly. Mm. As long as they don't fuck up my boy Spidey, because Spider-Man is my favorite. He Check this out. Monkey King says too. WandaVision uh-huh. sets up for Doctor Strange 2. Into the Madness. So Which I know that for sure movie. is. Exactly. But I know they're having weird problems with directors and shit. But Mikey King is exactly right. And they already said, like you said. That just makes WandaVision a lot more exciting. So again, it they, it's ties right into it. So we don't know what exactly Doctor Strange is going to be about. We already know that apparently Doctor Strange is going to be the new mentor to Spider-Man. If that's anything, apparently he's going to take on the mantle of like what? Um, Iron Man, Tony Stark supposed to be. Um, Iron I'm on, Spider. I'm on top of my shit. I don't know. What's up, Dan? How you doing, baby? But that's what it is. I mean, uh, what else is coming apparently out? Apparently Tom Holland is coming out? not happy about this uh, Spider-Verse shit. I mean, it, it it depends how they do it. I mean, I'm off. I mean, I can't. I'm biased as fuck. I mean, they could be Spider Man could be in Twilight, and I fucking love Twilight. So, like, I mean, that's you're talking to me like that. Um, but I have all those things. Uh, what are you excited for out of all that whole list? Well, a lot of these things have just a TBD, and then they have the year. Like, uh, you know, the What If series Disney Plus promised us. That I was, was definitely cool. excited about that. They only have you know to be determined 2021, whenever. Right. Uh, the Thor movie is coming out. Love mm-hmm. and Thunder. That's and Thunder. February 2012. Doctor Strange. That's probably what I'm mostly looking forward to because I don't know. Doctor Strange one was probably one of the best Marvel movies what, that came out. What about Eternal movies that came out? When does Eternals come out? Is it, is Eternal comes out 2021, November 5th. So fuck. I mean, because of the pandemic, we literally got no Marvel at all this year. But it's setting up to be a fucking wild 2021. 2022 it's coming with heat. 2021, 2022, straight. Fuego. I think this was the year anyways where it's supposed to give us that rest year of all Marvel stuff because obviously they ended the end game and stuff. Yo. So they 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 wanted to keep it light with Scarlet Witch and you know Mandalorian and not Mandalorian, it's a completely opposite Marvel Marvel, but one division and stuff like that. Um they're gonna come, like you said, they can come with heat. Twenty twenty one. So twenty twenty two though. Straight Fuego. Tell me about twenty twenty two. They already have movies locked in coming out every month. So February we get the Thor movie. Mm-hmm. March, we get this Doctor Strange movie. Nice. Uh, Ant-Man, they don't have a, an official like month. So maybe April, maybe later that year. I don't know. Ant-Man 3. Uh, Black Panther 2, we get in May. Fucking Captain Marvel 2, we get in July. Mm. Damn. Uh, How are we doing Black Panther 2? Uh, R.I.P., first and foremost. Um, Deep fakes? I don't know. Probably. I mean, it just sucks that they have to write it like that now, knowing what's going on and what's happening. Obviously, they... In, in true to the comics, if they want to, Shiri's gonna take a big mantle or take the new mantle of it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. His sister? I'd yeah. be I heard she was. Sister. I heard the first Black Panther was a woman, though, in the comics. So. Yeah. So, I mean, they're, surprised. they're gonna have to do something like that. Obviously, they're gonna pay tribute. They have to. They will. Um, I don't know. I mean, that Black Panther one is gonna be really. It's gonna have more of an impact than the first one did. You think so? 100%. You think it's gonna be better than the first one, though? I don't know. If, I mean, they're going to have Ryan. I think they have Ryan Coogler back. I think they have the original director and all that stuff back. Um, but obviously, the first thing was monumental for what it meant for everybody. I think the second movie is going to have a lot more weight to it for what it means. I wonder so, how they're going to transition the story. That's my It's going to be question. straight Shuri. I mean, we all kind of. I mean, is Shuri is going to take advantage. Not take advantage, but obviously going to take the mantle and kind of yeah, do but that. I'm saying like. How there they was, do that, though? There's somebody was, there was like, I see, like, you know, when the shit blows up, right? And then everybody's like, oh, they're going to bring back uh, Michael B. Jordan, and then he's going to be resurrected, and then he's going to be the guy. 
And everybody's like, what the fuck? No. Like, no. there's all kinds of shit. All, everything's floating around. <laughs> Reach. Oh, no. And they wanted M'Baku to do it, too. Like, I heard M'Baku might just take the mantle no, of the you, two. You can't just... Yeah, they can't just change it up, right? It's, it's super I weird. I mean, it could, but I mean... Or give it to really Scarlett weird. Johansson. No, you said a bitch. Get the ScarJo. <laughs> ScarJo's gonna be the new Black Panther. Wait, what? <laughs> That'd be crazy. No, but I know they're gonna do that. I know Shuri's supposed to be taking advantage. I mean, not take advantage. I gotta keep saying that. But Shuri's <laughs> supposed to be taking the mantle of... Take advantage. I know. She's supposed to take the mantle Who's of Who's taking Black advantage Panther. of Shuri? <laughs> I hope so. No. Tell Who's, me so I can let her who know. Who's Shuri taking advantage of? <laughs> I know. She has those powers. She, she's fucking genius. She's smart as shit. She'll be good. I mean, hopefully, who knows? It's all in their hands. Black Panther. That 2022, though. Damn, that's straight fuego. Every fucking one, dude. That's going to be heat. God be damn. living in the movie theater. If COVID, we're allowed I back don't in. Care. COVID who? I don't care. Well, I'm speaking of COVID, I mean, they already announced that Wonder Woman is going to be a, launched in... HBO Max. So you were complaining about what's good in HBO, HBO Max? Max? Don't you have it? Nope. Guess sure what? Don't. You ain't watching Wonder Woman then, bitch. You know why I don't? Who Guess why I don't? Care? Because it doesn't have 4K. That one, they actually announced that Wonder Woman is going to be in 4K and Dolby Atmos and everything. That's like the one movie they're going to have in 4K? Yes. They announced already Not that Wonder worth, Woman is going to be it? in there. Fourteen ninety nine. dollars Kiss my ass. They give you a free trial. You want to do it? Maybe. Okay, then shut maybe the fuck up. Maybe we can talk about I, free trial. I got a maybe, boys. <laughs> free trial is different. That's, that's a little different. You know, I'm talking maybe. my language. All right, so Mikey, this is probably for me and you right here because I I, can't, I seen this article you and it hurt it? my feelings a little bit because, mm-hmm. look, Marvel Avengers, the game, hasn't recouped its development cost yet. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Are you Y'all, laughing? You bought Anthem. Yeah, Sit down. exactly. I, I think now we're getting Anthem. feels to be in my Anthem shoes, <laughs> I think we're bitches. getting anthem I thought I had you a good time with it. I'll still play boys. it. Look, company president Yosuke Matsude explained in a newly translated uh, results briefing, sales for Marvel Avengers were lower than we expected and unable to completely offset the amortization of the game's development costs, which was, uh, they sold approximately $67 million. Um, you, you in U.S. dollars. Uh, game analysis David Gibson previously explained to the, uh, that the company sold 60% of its planned units um, implying that you know the cost that to Damn. make the game was a hundred million dollars. So, uh, responding to investors' <laughs> questions, <laughs> <laughs> responding to the investors, uh, Masuda clarified that Avengers had not, if Avengers had not been released in that quarter, I think it was a quarter two or three in the year, uh, the company would have made a profit. That comes down to both development and marketing costs. In addition to the amortization of the game's development costs, explained Mizuda, another significant factor associated with the title was the fact that we undertook a major advertising campaign at the time of its launch to make up for delays in our marketing efforts resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. There is certain amounts of development costs to, to be amortized, ar- amortized in th- the third quarter, but we, will, we want to recoup it by regrowing ourselves going forward. By growing ourselves going forward. They're giving up, which I hope they don't give up because here's the thing. Launch the PS5 version of it. You're going to have people not having anything to play on PS5 after they beat like Facts. Spider-Man and like all the first party games. Facts. And then give us cool shit like Spider-Man that they promised us. And if give they us, do that, yeah. Like that's the thing. It, once you launch the PS5 version and then all of a sudden you have Spider-Man out on it and you have like all these they cool little a, side it's stories. A, it's a complete game. Yeah, because here's the thing. It's a complete game. Here's the thing. Launched. No, it's a complete game now. Why is there so much DLC after? Like, it, honestly, if they come out with the PS5 version, it better be with everything and not no more bullshit. Like, no, no, oh, no, no, a lot of the DLC is free. It's no, an no, ongoing game. We, we, I don't care. No, listen, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 Linda. <laughs> Linda, <clears throat> so stupid. It's a complete game. Like, no, it's that's not. Sto- yes, it is. Play the God. story. You okay, haven't cool. played it. How's the story is a the- complete story. So many. When was the last time you played it? Monkey King says R.I.P. Marvel's Avenger. It's been a oh, while, but here's it. the thing. No, thank you. No, no, listen. If they thank you, if it's a complete game, you want to play it no, over no. and over again, right? Because it's supposed to have end game value. Guess Not true. What? I haven't it played Last of Us Two. Uh, it doesn't have end game it. value. That doesn't make it not a complete game. I rest my case. Right? When you're because a game I'm based not, on end game value, at this point. I'm just when listen. there's a game that's supposed to have the majority of it is supposed to be end game content and it's not all there, that's not a complete game to me. Okay, but it's a Destiny it, 101. It, like we've fell into that trap so many times of Destiny. Okay, hey, but here's you the go. thing: not I'm not mad game. at what they gave me. Like that single player is not like a shit Destiny single player. It's like a legit Marvel's Avengers story that I really enjoyed so and I had game. a great time playing. So it's half a complete game. No, and then the end game, it's still there. Like there's still the end game stuff, and I did play it for a while after I beat the story. It's just now, like now it. they need to boost up the rest, just like Destiny. Oh, right? so they need to release the full game then. 
No, it's not the. Destiny keeps releasing different uh, uh, expansions. Expansions. Yes. That's what they're gonna do. That's what Avengers is gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So give me the full game. The, but they were gonna do that anyway. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh uh, God, Destiny. Free. It's not free. like Destiny. You get all the expansions uh, off the gate, like after year one. No, they release new expansions every like couple times a year. This is very true, actually. I don't know, man. Honestly, going forward with the Avengers, like, yeah, probably, I think in January they promised us, the promise they're going to give us the PS5 upgrade, but if it's not good, I think we're going to get Spider-Man, I think we're going to get Hawkeye, and I think we're going to get someone else. I think we're going to get three people out of the gate. I know Hawkeye was supposed to be one. I think Marvel Bishop was supposed to be the other one too, right? Yeah, Kate Ant-Man. Bishop, that was her name. Ant-Man. Ant-Man? I don't yeah. think Ant-Man's coming. Yeah, he was confirmed. He was confirmed at one he of the conferences. Yeah. We're not confirmed, but I'm talking about like it's coming as far as like the first like I think, DLC, heard, I think like, one thing I heard it too was that the game wasn't even like launched yet. And they said, hey, here is what you're going to get right after or like after. The yeah, fact he, that they... This is the end The game, fact right? that they straight up said, hey, you're going to get Ant-Man. It's a game's you're service, get Hawkeye, right? You're going to get all these other guys. Time out. Hold on. I literally had this exact same discussion with you about fucking Assassin's Creed. And <laughs> here you are what coming I say? back talking and about what I say. You said, Get oh, I'm going to buy it. Oh, I don't care. Uh, you, know, you, don't, you don't want to know the reason why I bought Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Look at you. You want to know the reason why I bought Assassin's Creed? <laughs> why you buy Assassin's it's because Creed? that's the only other game I could play on the PlayStation 5 at the moment. Boom. Not sure. You could play Avengers. You could play Demon's Souls. Not on, I don't want to play it on the PlayStation 5. I want play a PlayStation 5 game. Can I go to the store right now and get a Marvel PlayStation 5? Demon's Souls. I'm cool. I don't want that. I'd rather pick a book. Coward. Oh, that's that's <laughs> Coward. If I'm going to play a game where I want to get frustrated at, I'm going to fucking not but You get like that Bloodborne. Game. Mortal Kombat piece Bloodborne is still amazing. If there's a Bloodborne 2 when that game comes out, I am for sure going to that game. Demon's Souls is the OG Bloodborne. Same I know developer. it is. But for some reason, Bloodborne was just a tad bit easier. <laughs> I liked it and I had fun. <laughs> there was one moment, okay, in Bloodborne, when, it, when you beat those type of games like Demon's Souls, there's going to be one boss that just fucks you up. That happened with me in Bloodborne. Like I, there was like two days where I couldn't beat this one boss. But as soon as I beat that boss, you finally get the mastery of the control. You finally get the, like the combat, and it just it's a lot easier after. They put that in the PS4 collection. I'm gonna play that, and I'm gonna play the Ratchet and Clank game mm-hmm. for sure. That's more games you don't beat. Yeah. yeah, you won't beat it though. Uh, then says Black Panther. He wants Black Panther in the Marvel Avenger. I feel like you know, low key, if they drop yeah. Black Panther in January for DLC, everyone's coming back. I don't know about everybody. Oh yeah, I don't know about everybody. Everybody come back. <laughs> I don't know about everybody. Everybody come back. I mean, do you think it's going to be enough for them to make profit? Because that was the main thing. They they $100 million and they still haven't recouped that. Bring so. back Black Panther. What right? if they do, but they actually make Joe you charge Biden it? Cut scene. What do you mean? Everybody mad? come back. What if they charge you just to make tar- to try to recoup? If they charge me? Yeah. Uh, they just need another $50,000. Oh, sorry. Like $50 million. $30 Jesus fucking season Christ. one passes? <laughs> I know. Make a, make, they make season an one. expansion. They charge you 20 bucks. Boom. You're done. Marvel and Susan 1, we're going to release four characters throughout the course of six months. That's not bad. $40 I ain't mad at in that. advance. Of course you're not mad. I'd be pretty fucking salty at that. I'm like, oh, lie to you, sir. Um, that's all I got. Let's get into the last piece of news. News, um, news, 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 news. You know, news. we're coming down to the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we did one of these things in October, but you know what I mean? That was for the lack of conversation we didn't really have. There wasn't much popping off in October. I was looking for my horror game, but now it's well, for real. Now we have confirmed nominees. Legit. Confirmed nominees. Now things are confirmed, and now we have the Game Awards. Let's and I already now. told y'all, Ghost of Tsushima's taking the cake for Game of the Year. Um, it's probably going to take the cake for a couple other categories as well, because no, Ghost no. of Tsushima oh. is the shit. No. Um, definitely needs to be played. Um, I think it's on the PC now. Let's sign sign in to vote, Mikey. Let's just sign in to vote right now. Look, look. Let's so vote right now. We're gonna low, We're gonna vote. Let's live. pick a couple <laughs> fucking categories because you know some of these categories I don't give a fuck about. Like best. Let's start indie. game of the year. Game of the year. All right. So game of the year nominees. Doom Eternal. Nope. Go ahead. Final Fantasy VII remake. Mm. Ghost of Tsushima. Hades. Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Last of Us Part Two. Last of Us Part Two. Yeah. Bet you Animal Crossing wins. No. No. You're. No. I uh, want God. another pizza bet. No, double or nothing. Ghost of Tsushima, though, for the for the for the win. Uh, honestly, it's, it's going to be a PlayStation exclusive. It's going to be Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us. But I'm, if I'm a betting man, I'm putting it on the Last of Us. Yeah, there's no way Last of Us does win this. Why? I told you because what? between this and Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk didn't come out. It's Last of Us. Yeah. Rest my case, Your Honor. Why did everyone? Okay, Which so only, we talked about it, bro. Just because we're saying The Last of Us Part Two is gonna win, I'm not gonna bet. It on doesn't this at diss all. on. If there's a co-champion, it's gonna be Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, if there's for no sure. Ghost there's a co-champion. Like, there's no co. Second first place. place is first loser. But Come he, on, now. Here's the co-champion thing. is Last of Us. It's a heavy hitter. Can, uh, Ghost of Tsushima is gonna clean up. 
but it's not going to clean up game of the year. Yeah, it Hades, will. Hades, though, I've never even heard of that game. I, I heard real good things about yeah. it, but it's still it's, The Last of Us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Doom Eternal, good, but I wouldn't say it's game of the year. I mean, you can pay it on your Tesla. Ah. Best game direction. What's this for, Mikey? Go back up. What's it saying? Best game direction. It says button. awards for astounding. I know, but it says best game direction. Awarded uh, for outstanding creative vision and innovation game direction and design. Guess I, what? I think Ghost of Tsushima That's could Ghost win Tsushima. this one. I That's could, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost, Ghost is clean Best enough, narrative. Bro. That's Last of Us. Sorry. Yeah, Last of Us. Last of Us. Last of us. What was it? Last Best narrative? Best narrative. We have Hades, Ghost of Tsushima, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and... Literally uh, the same fucking game. 13 games. Sentinels. I would give that with a best art direction. Been rough. I'm seeing the same yeah. fucking best game art posters. direction. That was gonna be Hades or Ghost of Tsushima. Best Probably art Hades. direction, definitely Final Fantasy. Y'all capping? No. Really? Hell it's yeah! It's the same shit. Disrespect no. Final Fantasy for the last time on this show. <laughs> this is your show. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. Put some respect on it. Final best Fantasy. Score in music. Okay, remember Queens. who won this last year? <laughs> who won this? Modern Warfare, which which was some of the best sound design. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, sound design's lower. My best bad. score in music. I thought um. Uh, last of Us wins this one too. Yeah. I mean, I can't. What's that, that guy's name? The difference is oh, Ori Will the Wisp, Hades, Final Fantasy VII remake, Doom Eternal. I have Gustavo. Last of Us. There you go. That's his name. Gustavo's the one who did the whole like music for the Last Composed. of Us. He composed it. Uh, for that one, I don't know. I got I mean, give me a soundtrack for Hades and Ori. Been, a lot of people love Ori. I know people who actually like that design and the storytelling that they have on that that little scroller game. They got best first person shooter in this bitch. Go no. ahead, best audio design. Don't so care. we'll go down. Best performances. Oh, um, this one's tough. This one's tough. I don't know about this one. This one is a tough one. Uh, from what I what I played. Which I haven't jumped into Miles Morales yet, but I can't imagine it's better than fucking Ashley Johnson in the last. No, Ashley Johnson. I mean, it's Jesus tough because I I don't want to gin gin suck. No, yeah, gin. I I again. Ty, I mean that's a tough one, but I felt for fucking gin so much yeah. during that story. I was yeah. like, oh fuck your uncle, bro. If I was your uncle, I would have stabbed him too. Yeah. Spoiler. He he, he didn't stab his uncle. Go. But you know, Ashley, Ashley. I don't know that that one's a, this one's gonna be a tight one. This one's a <laughs> coin flip. Yeah, coin flip. I wouldn't be. I'm honestly, whoever is this one, they're all great performances. So I really wouldn't be mad. Miles Morales, and eh, not so much. I don't know about the one on the right, uh, Logan. What they say about Logan Miles for the Hades game? Oh, right here, the Hades game. Yeah, again, yeah. I've heard great things about this game. I might have to jump in, but I'm probably not. I have, out of all those four, I played those four. I know those four. Is that on console? Toss up. I wouldn't be mad. It's, I think it's Nintendo. Monkey King says Ashley Johnson. Who the hell is that? Oh, here's an for in- um, L Ellie. Here's Ellie. an interesting one that I think we're gonna get some good conversation out of. Uh, What's this for? Best ongoing. Mm. Come on. Don't even, so we have don't Apex even Legends, who, Destiny Two, Call of Duty Warzone, Fortnite, No Man's Warzone. Sky. Warzone. Sorry, Warzone. Interesting. Has so much no hype. Man's Sky is on there. Warzone. Yeah, Warzone. I think. I think Warzone, Warzone is gonna be there or Fortnite. Fortnite's making headways now what? just because of uh, Marvel and the end game event. But unfortunately, the the, the crowd, the people. A lot I'm of people are playing. Apex Warzone. definitely didn't bring it this year. Uh, they had a couple seasons. I was like, eh. This last season seven though changed the game. If they do win, definitely off of season seven. But like throughout the year, I can't really speak. I know Fortnite's been pretty consistent for its ongoing. They've been doing like concerts. I know in twenty twenty, you know, when pandemic first started, they had yeah. the Travis Scott concert. Concert. They had the Young Thug concert. They've been, you know. Fortnite's been keeping it live. Shout out to fucking Nomad Sky. I mean, yeah. they came mm-hmm. back from the depths of hell to kind of come back and actually be nominated for an award. What is that game? I've still never even and opened up a gameplay it. video. I played it. Game. It was a it, when you if you bought a game. I bought a day one. <laughs> I bought a day one. You didn't know what the fuck you're getting into. And now it's a completely different game. So it's yeah. like space Minecraft. It's it cool. really is. Uh, Apex, Fortnite, Warzone, top best three. indie. Okay, sorry, no, this don't one's play. interesting. Best mobile game, but how long has Among Us been out? So this one's Among Us. Call Among Us been out for a minute. Hold on, hold on. Genshin Impact, Legends of Ruterra, and oh, Genshin Pokemon Impact Cafe win. Mix. Now, Genshin Among Us Impact. has been out for years. Genshin is going to be out. Genshin yeah. is going to win. I've seen so many people playing. Among Us Impact. blew up over quarantine. Which I don't know, dude. I think Among Us is going to win. Uh, Wait, Among what the fuck Us is going to win. Cafe. I kind of want to play best that game. Mobile game. Genshin has been I selling play that game. billions. Dumb ass money, dude. Like dumb I, money. Genshin dumb. people are. Fucking Dude, cashing, fucking out, cashing out. That's the only reason why I think it's going to win because a lot of people play that a game. A lot of people are playing Genshin. And the developers even promised to expand the game based on players' needs. It's like it's literally catered to the players. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Genshin definitely, definitely a respectable name in that category. 
Best community support. Fall Guys. Uh, Fall Guys, yeah. Fall guys I think one. So this one's between Apex Legends, For Destiny sure, 2, Apex, Fall Guys, Fall Ultimate guys. Knockout. Actually, Fall Guys Hold on. Apex. Hold on, guys. I got to get through the, the nominees <laughs> for people who are listening. No Man's Sky, Fortnite, and oh, Valorant. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think Fall Guys is on this one. Why? Because when you think community for community 2020, for Fall Guys is actually the Fall Derek Guys Derek's community manager. Literally, 2020 was held. Fall, Fall Guys was literally carried by Tim the Tatman. No, no, it was carried by their their community their, their and their social. Their fan actually really social and shit. Their it's social really was literally leashing off of fucking Tim. No, that's not no. true at all. They're they're killing it, dude. Whatever. Apex, though. Definitely attentive. Oh they launched God. the EA fucking... Um, they, 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 EA launched a whole program for e- Apex that let mm. streamers and just gamers actually get in there and test some of the new shit And you know what early. the weird part is? I f- that's the first time I'm hearing about it. It's wild. So guess what? Fall Guys wins. Yep. Fall Guys is going to win this one, boys. You it. You care. see Fall Guys because you have Twitter. Yeah, that's like that's a normal person. Right? That's a community. Yeah, so is the fucking what he responded. But I'm Nobody on, but fucking downloads an EA app and has it on their phone. But hey, man, let Fall me hit you up on the so EA app. Vague, just uh, just marketing to Twitter. Okay, every and that's the case. Everyone does that. Not just Twitter, and not like Fall Guys. Fall Guys okay, has not the like best Fall community Guys support. Because EA and Respawn, Apex. You know, they do other shit and have other programs. I just want to help hey, the man, community. You can have you know your me? opinion. Hey. I'm just letting you know the facts. <laughs> Let me know the facts, but watch. I'm letting you know the facts. Uh, Want to bet money on this? My opinion is Apex, but I'm just letting you know the facts. I'll bet you Apex doesn't win this. I don't think they'll I win. I mean, look. $100. I'm not going to I'm not gonna even <laughs> disagree with you because everybody hating on Apex now. It'd it be like that. That's crazy. They're just going to hate. You know, when Apex first dropped, Mikey was all like, oh, I'm so addicted. I love um, this game. Now you hate that one, Look how they switch on you. Star Wars would have been that best one. Best multiplayer. Best what? Best action? Best, best action game. Uh, oh, that's da, 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 da. So these ones know. have Streets of Rage 4. Neo, I think Neo got good reviews. Hold on, hold on. Let me go through the numbers. My bad, my bad, my bad. My Neo bad, my 2, bad. Half-Life Alex, Hades, Doom Eternal. I keep doing that too. Uh, I've heard some good shit about Neo. Yeah. That's Half-Life, I know that was popping for a minute. That's the VR one though, right, Mikey? Uh, Yeah, that is the Doom VR Doom Eternal one. probably, that's probably the most, that one in Neo, I can say, probably either between mm-hmm. those two. I mean, it's just because I know, man. Doom games. was really fucking good. Yeah, like that is all in all an overall action game. Oh, Bethesda, never gonna see that on anything else but Xbox. I know. No more. Uh, action adventure. I think. Uh, oh, Jedi's Fallen Order is fucking t- counts for this year. Oh shit! I don't know. Yes, yeah, sir. No, yeah. people forgot about that. Game yeah, yeah, people they forgot. Did. They definitely Best did. action adventure. That one, Ghost of Tsushima, might win. Maybe I, I I would lean a little bit more towards. I think Ghost it's bullshit. Of Assassin's Creed is here. The fuck? Now, I mean, it's action. It's just fucking. It's one of those. If this was me, you have to get a participation trophy. I would choose it. Jedi Fallen Order because I think they'd have fucking deserve it. Because honestly, I think out of all these games, I think that's the best like action adventure game. I'm mm. here for that mentality because I do think they got robbed last year. They weren't even nominated last year. I think no, because they were. They, they came the, out the day after. Yeah. The, the nomination yeah so game. i think yeah i don't know that was a top i'm not mad at any of those games whoever wins out of that well deserved i'm a little Ori? mad at Ori and the will of the wisps i, would, I, I have to, i feel like yeah. i need to play Ori now no you don't up here you're and assassin's missing, creed you're not missing out uh no i'm playing that game I'm, assassin's creed maybe because i've been hearing a lot of good things too i played but, five out of no. those four no, i'm I saying i'd be mad at those two. <laughs> oh, if they out won, of those six yeah. games i played five of them and i wouldn't be mad if any of those five went uh, best role RPG. playing, best fighting. That's for you. <laughs> Do you want to talk about role playing game? Flowers? Uh, no. uh, to be honest, Genshin I impact. haven't played much of these games at all. I think it's Genshin, Genshin and Final Fantasy. Yeah. I think it's between those two. Persona anyway. Five, I feel like it's probably going to win just off the community. I feel like the community really puts that game up front, and then I know number four was really good. What's, what about this? This is for you right here. Best fighting. All right, best fighting game. We have best fighting game. Grand Mortal Blue Kombat. Fantasy versus Mortal Kombat 11 Fuck. Ultimate, Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition, One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, I can't and believe what I'm saying. Under Night in Birth. <laughs> One Punch Man is on this list? I have no idea. They're, they're struggling. That's how you know this year was full of trash-ass yeah. fighting games. What is this? It's either going to be what Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. That's Mortal my Kombat guess. Eleven Ultimate. I don't even know if that counts as a new game. I don't know how they're doing these because I feel like there's no cutoff for certain games. Honestly, yeah. Grand Blue, for sure, is one of the games I heard a lot about, and I know a lot of people kind of go back to that when they drop new characters and they update the game. Yeah. But the rest of these titles, I mean, Street Fighter. Okay, that's that's <laughs> its own little audience. All right, you can't hate on Street Fighter. That's you can. Thing. But One Punch Man. Who who did this? <laughs> Whose man's did this? Who did this? 
We got questions, bros. Spike Chunsoft, this is why we get bad anime games. Because we fucking put them on shit like this. And we're like, oh, we did such a good job. Best family game? No, you didn't. Best, you didn't do a good job. Best family game. Is it going to be Animal Crossing or Fallout? Well, we have Animal Crossing, New Horizons, Crash Bandicoot 4, Fall Guys, Mario Kart, Alive, Home Circuit, uh, Mario, uh, Minecraft Dungeons, and Paper Mario, the Origami King. Animal Crossing or Fall Guys? I think it's Fall Guys, Crash, or Animal Crossing. It's one of those two. Can we put like 2020 Three. delays as a category? I'd rather, mm, I'd rather Cyberpunk would win. Sign in to vote for 2020 delays. Yeah, that'd be funny. Best, best 2020 games. delay. Best delayed <laughs> game. <laughs> No, um, no, I really do think it's between one of those three. Yeah, uh, you know, Fallout's winning this. Stop playing. Fallout. Fall guys, Fall, uh, Fallout. Fall I, did, guys. I did the same thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, I could see them winning that definitely. Um, uh, if you we'll play similar that. games, don't care about that. Don't care about that. K21 winning uh, um, Best multiplayer. Mm, mm, we have definitely Animal Among Crossing, this. New Horizons, Among Us, Call of Duty Warzone, oh, Fall Guys Ultimate, uh, oh, Knockout, and Valorant. We're talking about Animal Crossing for what best was it multiplayer? multiplayer. That's that's tough. That was this was a tough that's, one. That's real tough. Warzone and Valorant. That's tough. Mm. Among Us and Fall Guys caught fucking fire. It did this year. It did. And why is Warzone in this? This was technically the last year game. Warzone though, but uh, yeah, you're right. But Animal Crossing, I mean, because of the pandemic, it had a bad burnout. It Animal Crossing was the best game for the pandemic because it came out in March while we got shelter in place and shit. Um, but. I just, it had a burnout though. Like a lot of people, like I remember saying, I remember them saying it's the best game sold and everything like that. But like that turnaround, that 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 fallout of it is just bad. I don't. I don't know. Crossing. I feel like was such a big community game, and I feel like it everyone is. like really rallied around Animal Crossing. They this did. Year. They did. Like it was really crazy. And then Among Us. I mean, I feel like that game really speaks for itself. I feel like you had to have played. I feel like everyone. And their mom, sister, brother have played Among Us. Like I've seen, I see little kids now with like the little like smartphones or little tablets playing Among Us with each other. Like I feel like that's mm-hmm. one of those games you damn near have to download and play. Yep. I, honestly, I might have to give it to Among Us, best fucking multiplayer. I ain't gonna hold y'all. There's no, yeah, I, th- Warzone, I think Among Us definitely not hold anything Call of Duty. So you thought? Now hmm. this is interesting. But there's no Contact multi. Creator. There's no first person shooter one. No, they're Which trying to condense it or something. Content know. creator will. Do, uh, do you Nick think this Merckx. should be our last one? Uh, Nick Merckx needs a win. That we kind of cover here. You say who? That we give a fuck. Should the, this be our last one? That we kind of. I just the one thing I would sure. say about it is I like how they're adding more of this like content creators and esports. I like that they're kind of getting recognition for those guys. Not a big deal. Like not like oh my god they're doing it. It was just like, cool, cool. Like kind of like again. So for this category, content creator of the year, we have Alana Pierce. Uh, J.N. Lopez, uh, which is Black Girl Gamers on um, Twitter. I've not heard of her. I've heard of that group. I've not heard of her, which is interesting. Nick Merckx, Tim the Tapman, and Valkyrie. My boy, Nick Merckx. Honestly, Tim the Tapman, single-handedly holding Fall Guys by himself. Go ahead, King. <laughs> I One of those two. Got, fucking, what the uh, a lot of Pierce. I don't know what Captain kind of content America she creates. Unfortunately, have. I know she's part of... Uh, Funhouse. Funhouse, there you go. She's now a writer now at... Uh, Santa Monica Studios. Oh, good for fucking Stokes her. Stokes is voting for Ray. Yeah, Stokes is a, a big fan fan girl. Yeah, she was doing like voice Ray. work too or something. I forgot. I think she was like teasing that. I see. That's the thing. I've really come to learn about Tim the Tapman through Tombo. Yeah. Um. I really enjoy him. I think he's <laughs> really Twitter funny. Hella funny. I saw him do. I saw, he did a war zone match with a random. Yeah. And for every kill he gave, he uh, got he gave the random a uh, twenty twenty five dollars. Like whatever kill that random got. Yeah, that's hella funny. I got one he kill. He does interesting Fuck. things. Uh, no, uh, it's funny. Tim the Tatman, he, every time like the Cowboys play, because he's a huge Cowboys fan, on Twitter he's like, Cowboys are going to win this game, no matter what. <laughs> and then like after they lose, he's like, fuck, next one. <laughs> it's hella funny. Uh, but no, cool content, content creators. Uh, I need, definitely need to see more of what they have to offer. I just only, um, I'm, I hate to say it, but I only know Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman because they stream. Um, they have big followings, and I just know of them. From a friend. That's really about it. I'm going to look into J.N. Lopez because I'm here for the Black Girl Gamers. I just didn't know who she was. But yeah. I'm happy she's on this list. Real shit. Shout out to her and shout out to the Game Awards for putting her on here. Absolutely. I agree. Um, yeah, I think it's I, I think it's between her and Tim the Tatman. I think they made the most traction this year. True. Of the two Tim the Tatman, like I said, held the game up What happened on to Ninja? Shoulders. Is Ninja still there? Ninja can't even stay Where's on the platform. Where's Ninja? <laughs> what about his shoes? He has shoes. Is he making content, shoes still? Honestly. He's making shoes? PewDiePie? Yeah. He teamed up with fucking oh, uh, <laughs> Adidas. He has a, a shoes with Adidas. 
That's it. All right. <laughs> that's all. That was my joke. <laughs> well, uh, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Did you guys have any stories you guys want to bring? <sighs> no, man. We hit up a lot. We talked a lot. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's you guys amazing. Have been all working and shit. Um, I know it's all good, but no, not, I mean other than no, that, I'm, I'm, I'm super hyped for all the Marvel stuff coming out. Uh, Mandalorian, spoiler alert, Grogu, all that shit. Um, that's amazing. Keep watching. A couple episodes left. I'm excited for WandaVision. I hope it's as good as it sounds. I really am. I really am excited, and I hope that it pops. Um, speaking while he's doing this, everyone go ahead and check out our PlayStation Day video, youtube.com forward slash play everything. Um, we did a thing. We did a thing. We did a little thing. We definitely we did some a more thing. things. And I need you to, you know, let me know how you feel about this thing. Yes, uh, I'm actually really proud that we did this before <laughs> all the madness of the holidays uh, because I think it came out, you know, three Sunday. pretty damn good. Um, and again, with the content being light on this channel for these last couple of weeks, I'm glad we got this out before the madness. But please go check this out on our YouTube uh, channel. It's an office style PS5 launch day here in the studio. So go hey, You look good one. on that TV, bro. You, sir, looked good. Cute. You looked immaculate, bro. You looked fucking. Uh, I thought, bro. Daddy. I was like, who is this guy? Whose man's is this? All right, guys. Well, <laughs> since my friends have no more stories, and I'm sure they're tired because they had work Cyber Monday, uh, I appreciate you guys for coming to the show. Like I said, if you missed this episode live, you can watch it tomorrow, which unfortunately today means it's going to be on a Wednesday at 10 a.m. over on YouTube.com for us as Play Everything. Um, and you, you can also listen to it on podcast services around the globe. I'm talking Spotify, mm -hmm. Apple, iTunes, Google Play, wherever, you know what I'm saying? You listen to Spotify. I mean, not Spotify. Listen to podcasts. We there. Uh, so uh, I think that's I think that's all my plugs. You got anything you want to plug? Uh, my Twitter, Copa Andres. Go follow it. Um, I'm going to be tweeting some dumb shit all the time. Uh, have fun. Yes, sir. That's about it. Follow the channel. What's good? Cheeks, you got something you want to plug, baby? Absolutely. Cheeks underscore junior on Twitter. You don't see my name tag going up there, but uh, you can follow me there. Keep up to date all things on me, even though I've been pretty silent the last uh, couple weeks because uh, how crazy it is. And then my show, Tech Fever, is actually going to be back. We took a little break uh, the last two weeks, uh, but me, Kevin Quello from Kind of Funny, break down the tech news of the week uh, right here on YouTube.com forward slash play everything that goes live every Thursday at 10 a.m., so go check that out. Oh, and real quick before we get up out of here, I forgot to say I got a little Twitch channel. You know, I do a couple more things on a little Twitch page called That Kid Flowers. You know who I am. Um, so go ahead and follow that page because I appreciate that I need the little follows because, you know, I want to be big and streaming. I want to do this full time. So um, with that being said, appreciate you for watching the show.